Fetch. Plate. Front. Yes is the reward marker. Now he could run around. He loves running around with it. I let him do that. Yes is a reward marker. Now he can just run around and be free. That's a big part of the reward. He likes to just run around. That's what I give him. Good boy, Luca. Come. Over here. Come on. Luca, come. See, that's his reward marker. That's how I end it. Now he can run around and do whatever he wants. I just started doing this yesterday with him. This is all simple things, guys, that anybody with a dog can do. If you notice, there's no complicated positions there. It's all basic commands, right? The fetch, every dog should learn how to fetch. If you're a dog trainer, you need to learn how to teach your dog how to do a train retrieve. Very important, guys. Another thing, you see with the place board there, Today in the pet dog industry, people use the place command like jail prison. It's, it's, it's doggy jail. Go to a place and don't move. You're, so many people are missing what the place command is really beneficial for. And that's to use it, to implement it as part of so many other things that you could do with your dog. And so when you're only using it as doggy jail, you're really, really failing to miss the importance of the place command. It's a very simple command that takes five minutes to start the dog to understand. But where people don't, where they don't get the benefit is they use it as a boundary. Stay on that place and don't move. I don't like to use it as doggy jail. I like to use it as a starting line for a lot of other things that you can do. Now, I just started doing this with Luca yesterday. If you noticed, 
Normally, when we work with Luca, he's all hyped up, adrenalized, and psychotic, right? Everything's fast, and he's screeching. I wanted to start doing something with him where he can chill out a little more, and he has to think, okay? So, giving him the commands, you know, fetch, out, leave it, makes him think. He has to pay attention to the words, okay? So, yesterday, a couple of times when I told him, you know, down on the way there, then I say fetch, he goes and he, he's hesitant, like, wait, am I supposed to? It forces him to pay attention and take it down a notch. So again, this is a really simple exercise that I guarantee you will help any single dog owner out there. Get out and do this stuff with your dogs, guys. But if you notice, all my pet dog trainers out there, we talked about this before, the importance of implementing some working dog stuff. And the same thing with the working dog people. You have to have an understanding of both guys. If you want the best results possible, you have to have knowledge of working dog training and pet dog training, in my opinion anyway. Why wouldn't you want it? You understand what I'm saying? Peace.